In this video, I will cover Katia workbenches. And what you see here on the screen, those are not the Katia workbenches. But let's think for a second at Katia like a workbench in reality. It has a table, it has tools and places to store them. In the same way, Katia D5 has an interface toolbar and a workplace. Workbenches in reality are organized by the work you have to do and in here we have a few of them. This is like a general workbench, this is a welding workbench with welding tools, this is a carpenter workbench with uh, carpenting tools, a mechanical workbench we have here, a blacksmith workbench with blacksmithing tools and a forge. This is an auto repair shop that has a lifter and auto repair tools. This is a lathe that has all the tools you need. In the same way Katia has workbenches or licenses used for different domains. And let's go back to Katia V5. Katia is a software that has thousands of commands grouped in workbenches. And when you have Katia open like this, you find all your workbenches in the start menu here. They will all be grouped here. So right now I have just a few of them. But we can see the, here part design, assembly design, sketcher, drafting. If we go to equipment systems, I have electrical harness discipline, electrical harness installation. And if we open one of them, let's go to part design. In here you have all the tools needed to design a part from scratch. And then if we go to assembly design, the tools change, so those are specific tools to assemble parts in a product that you just design. So you design parts in part design workbench and then you assemble them in the assembly workbench. And then you can go to electrical part design and you have a part that you just design in part design. Then you open it in the electrical part design workbench and you give it electrical properties. So if you design a connector, you come here to give uh, the connector electrical properties. And then if you go to electrical harness installation, you have specific tools to root wires and connect them to connectors and other devices that you define in the electrical workbenches. So you need many workbenches to design a big project and you can be an engineer that works on, uh, you are specialized on mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. And for example, to design a vehicle, you need many workbenches because you need surface design, you need mechanical design, you need welding, you need electrical design and a few other workbenches. In this course we will cover four Katia workbenches. We will start with the sketcher where we uh, design 2D sketches that will be projected in a third dimension and we will do that in part design. We use part design and sketcher to design parts. Then we use assembly design to assemble the parts to create bigger assemblies and sub-assemblies. And the last workbench will be the drafting workbench where we take parts and assembly to create manufacturing drawings and assembly drawings that we will send to suppliers and to operators. And those workbenches are like a foundation for all the other Katia workbenches. You need to know part design and assembly design and sketcher to be able to work in all the other Katia workbenches. You will learn other workbenches more easily after you learn those ones. And the best part is that you can design a lot of parts and projects only with those four workbenches. And I will show you next what you will be able to design with those three workbenches and where you will encounter some limitations. In here I have some slides with parts that you can design in those workbenches. So you see you can definitely design some aluminum covers, you can design some brackets, nuts, bolts and screws. You can design 3D printed parts here and here. You can design all type of uh, automotive parts that you see around here. Most of them are die, molding, welded. Here again we have other 3D printed parts. This is a plastic channel, a plastic part, probably inject molded. You can design tools. You can design connectors for harnesses. You can design retainers for harnesses and all the plastic components that you find in uh, electrical, automotive electrical harnesses. Then you can design plastic parts that you find all around the vehicle or uh, other industrial projects. Carbon fiber parts here and here. Plastic protection for wires and all type of composites and surfaces that you find on the vehicle as long as they are not uh, too complex. You can also do industrial design so you can design plants and uh, assembly lines and uh, tubing, piping. You can definitely design some tubing and piping with uh, part design and assembly design. 
The only issue is that you will not have uh, properties, spe specific properties, and the management is going to be different. You can also design all kind of plants. So I, I used to design plants like this one. This is an asphalt mixing plant, and I also design concrete mixing plants. And then here we have some limitations. If you need to design very complex brackets like this one and this one, you'll probably be able to design this in part design, but you'll not be able to complete it for manufacturing. Also, if you design seating and complex surfaces, probably you'll not be able to design that in part design. Even those kind of surfaces, you need a specific workbench in Katia called generative shape design to design those. And as you can see here, when you design a complex bracket like this, let me show you the next slide. So when you design a com complex bracket like this one, this is some kind of cover for something. There are many operations that need to be done to manufacture this one from your design. To design this one, you start from a flat piece of sheet metal and then you need to cut it by laser as you see it here. If this is mass production, they will probably do a stamp that will cut this in one piece, everything that you see around here. If not, they will just use a laser to cut it. And after that, you need some machines to bend it. You need some special machinery to bend it or you they might create a machine that will bend it in a one piece. And to be able to get there from Katia V5, you will design it like this in 3D, but then you need a specific Katia workbench called sheet metal design that it will flatten in 3D your sheet metal because this part that you use to bend this part needs to be longer than what you design in 3D. This is a bending coefficient or an elongation coefficient that needs to be calculated in a CAD software and sometimes it's just a few millimeters longer. So for every bend that you have here, this the flat sheet met metal that you start from needs to be a little longer. So you need specific workbenches to design some parts, but nothing stops you from designing something like this in part design or something like this. And when I used to work in racing in Formula 1, I used to do complex parts like carbon fiber and sheet metal design and send those parts to a supplier to finish them in a specific workbench because we didn't have the time to do all of those. And he used to send it back to me, finished in that specific workbench, to, so I can confirm that the part is ready to manufacture. And sometimes it was a few millimeters longer in one place, or a bend was impossible, or something like that. But you see, even with those workbenches, with those foundation workbenches, you will be able to design many parts and to lead projects. And this is how workbenches work, this is how, what we are going to learn in this course. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.